anybody out there play a string instrument? You do? You do? There's like 1,500 string players in Seattle Public Schools in grades four and five, which is so cool. So a shout out to you for learning something that's really hard and really fun at the same time. I am so excited to be working with you today. This is String Time with Stephanie. My name's Kevin. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's Stephanie. And we're gonna learn how to play Star Wars today. I hope you're excited about that. We're gonna learn to review some patterns in the D major scale. We're gonna work on some finger patterns and some technique stuff. First thing you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. So try to find one of those in your house. I have a piece of paper right here and I have a pencil. I'm getting everything set and we're gonna go ahead and get out our instruments now. Let's just get out our bows first because we're gonna do a little bit of work with the bow hold. So go ahead and get out your bow. I have mine right here. And I loosened it when I put it away last night, which you should be doing, and I know not all of you are doing that. So just as a reminder that we wanna always be loosening our bow at the end of our practice sessions, and then we wanna tighten it up. So every day when you're practicing, because that is what you can do right now when you're at home, because nothing is more fun than practicing. I would rather practice than do a lot of other things. So we're gonna tighten our bow, because we've already loosened it from practice yesterday, just a little bit, just enough so that our pinkies can kind of fit through the middle and that we keep that, we still keep that curve. And now we're gonna just review our bow hold. So violins and violas, your bow hold, just as a review, is middle two fingers together, a little bit of separation here between our pinkies and our first finger, and our thumb is gonna move in really bent in the middle of our hand to kind of make that shape. And then we're gonna find our bow, I'll take it with my other hand, place your tip of your really bent texting thumb, this is my texting thumb, right there, or gaming thumb, video game thumb, there you go. And your middle two fingers are together and they're gonna hang down, just see how it's right above the dot there. And then pinky sits tippy tippy top of our pinky, nice and curved on the top of the bow, not down here, violins, and not outstretched straight like that but very curved, good, yeah, you're getting it. And then our first finger, Captain Hook, super curvy, and we're gonna lay it right there on the winding. Good, and you can go ahead and place it on your knee. I don't, my knee is too far down, so I'm just gonna put it on my hand. And then we're gonna do some tapping. So can you tap, tap, tap your pinky? Very good, yep. And this really only works if our thumb is really bent. So make sure you're tapping, tapping. Now this is the harder one, the middle two fingers. Can you tap, tap, tap your middle two fingers? Good, just as a review. And then tap, tap, tap your captain hook. Yep, and then back to your middle. Really those only work. If your thumb is banana thumb, which like, I don't know, I can't get the angle very right. It's like this and not bent. You can't, it, you, it's impossible to tap your middle two fingers. So if you're having trouble with your middle two fingers, check that thumb to make sure it's bent. Good, okay, and then we're gonna tap, tap, tap our first finger. Yeah, you got it, awesome, that's perfect. Let's go on now to getting out our instrument. So this is our D major scale. Remember, we're going up the D string, all the notes on the D string, and this is just telling us that our fingers are together, a half step mark between our F sharp and our G. Then we have the notes on the A string, A, B, C sharp, and D, and that's the half step there. So we're gonna go up the scale, repeat the top note, and back down. We have our half notes here, and we're just gonna go D, E, F sharp, so each half note is gonna be a new note. D major scale in half notes. One, two, ready, go. I'm watching my fingers. Check. 
checking my bow hold when I'm playing. If you are like, oh man, the D major scale is so easy. Um, it might be for you. However, I am almost certain that there's something you can work on. Whether it's keeping that pinky nice and loose, keeping your wrist nice and loose, making sure you're not squishing here, making sure you're always perfectly in tune. There's always something we can work on even when we're reviewing. So let's play now quarter notes, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we're gonna go like two note, two letter names per note head. So D, D, E, E, like that. Here we go, instruments up. Pinkies curved, middle two fingers tap, 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 tap. Ready, set, together, go. D, D, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, A, B, B, C sharp, C sharp, D, 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 C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D, D, D. Now you, now you all know what a great singer I am. <laughs> yeah, not so great. Ready to start Star Wars? Let's do it. Before we start learning Star Wars, we need to know something about triplets, and that's a rhythm. So we have this here, and I wrote that out for you earlier today. And that is our triplet rhythm. It looks like eighth notes, but there's only three of them and it's connected with a bar at the top and it has the number three. That's what a triplet looks like. And we can say chocolate, 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 or banana, banana. Oh my gosh. I have the best joke for you, are you ready? You are? Okay, some of you might know this already. So if you do, I'm sorry. What is Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana, -na. banana, -na. <laughs> so, so bad, such a bad joke. Anyway, if you don't know Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, now you can listen to it and you'll know what I'm talking about. This is the triplet rhythm that we need in Star Wars. And let's just play, I don't know, let's just say chocolate, chocolate first together, or banana, or strawberry, whatever you want to say, or pineapple. One, two, three, ba da da, ready, and say it, go. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Yeah, good. So all three of those need to fit into one beat. That's what makes a triplet. So if you bow it on the D string, let's try it on the D string. Here we go. Ready, here we go. <laughs> use short bows just like in our eighth notes and we're kind of keeping our bow moving to that triple it triple it triple it banana chocolate tri yeah you can go ahead and try it now on your own yep that's it that's what we need to know how to do that for Star Wars all right I'm gonna flip over my paper now if you want this is a perfect time to write this down you can write down these notes, and these are our notes for the first part of the Star Wars theme. And you can have it spaced on your paper kind of like that. That way you remember some of the rhythms. The first thing we're gonna do is start playing a big long open D, and then we're gonna play kind of a long A, and then here's our triplet part right here. G, F sharp, E, like that. I'm gonna play it for you, and then I'm gonna give you some time to work on it on your own. Here I go. Just listen this time. Just that much. So it's D, A, G, F sharp, E. Let's say it together. Ready? And D, A, G, F sharp, E. Cool. Let's do it one time. Let's try it together one time and then I'll give you some time to practice. I think that's best. Here we go. Ready? Set, open, D, long note, D, A, cool. Go ahead and practice that on your own right now. Good, so go ahead and stop practicing now and we're gonna try it together. We're gonna play this one here 
just together. Here we go, my turn first. Here we go, your turn together. One, two, everybody go. That's very good. Now this next D, that is not gonna be our open D. That's gonna be a high D, and so I'm gonna just draw a line over the top of it to signify a high D, because it, you can't really read my finger number, but that would be three fingers on the A string. So that's our high D, and I'm gonna play that part for you now. So everything else is the same, I'm gonna play it, give you some time to practice, and then we're gonna do it together. So I did D, A, G, F sharp, E, D, A, G, F sharp, E. Okay, you wanna try practicing that on your own? Ready, good, on your own. Awesome, let's try it together. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. Good, does anybody know what note's coming next? What do you think that is? Is that an open D or a high D? Yeah, you got it, it's a high D. So let's go ahead and write that line above it. And now, we're gonna play the whole thing. Notice that the notes change here. G, F, G, and then we're gonna add an E. What's gonna be hard is the string crossings, is getting all of those fingers down here, all of those fingers down here, and then making sure that we're getting all those string crossings. So when you're working at home, that's what you can practice. But for right now, we're gonna keep going so that you can work on this at home. So I'm gonna play the whole thing for you all the way until the end. You can listen and kind of think about it as you go. Two, three. That's it. So this is three whole beats there, that E is. One, two, three whole beats long. So make sure you're playing that. Let's try it together. One, two from the top. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. I did one more D there at the end. So, but don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about that. If you wanna add one more at the end, you can, but don't worry. So this is what it sounds like. Why don't you practice it while I point? Here we go. One, instruments up. One, two, ready, go. D, A, G, F, sharp, B, high D. A, G, F, sharp, B, high D. A, G, F, sharp, G, E. D, D, D. Yeah, that's awesome. You're so great. I love teaching you today. See, I really miss my students. It's been so much fun working with you today. I know all of the teachers that have you as students really miss you, miss having you in class, and miss the beautiful sounds that you make on your instruments. So I think it's really important that you keep practicing. Also, it's really important. Music is so helpful in our world for so many different reasons. And I hope that you are able to find some joy in practicing. And I'll see you next week.